Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use the Move feature, which is located here. The Move feature is a performance feature, so a, a feature you would use to alter parameters during a performance or when you're live. So, and the way it works here, you have a slider, okay, which you can move from left to right. And on the left, it is associated with a particular scene, in this case, A, on the right with scene B. As you move the slider from A to B, you move the settings which are associated with scene A to the settings which are associated, in this case, to scene B. If you click on the button corresponding to a scene, you can also change the scene. So in this case, C, as you have different scene. But for, this purpose, for the purpose of this exercise, let's uh, continue on A. So let's add a preset first of all. So generator, uh, preset, instrument, and let's scroll down. Let's choose the Super So 1. Then let's bring up the keys and let's create a little bit of a melody using the steps in the pattern. So C2 that then probably and the sharp uh, two there the G2 there uh, a, a, G, a G sharp two there and then probably a G2 there and an F there so let's um, let's hear how it sounds Okay, so let's click and hold on a step, move to the right to increase the length of the step and the duration of the note. Let's try again. Perfect, sounds better. Let's hide now the keys. Now, let's click on the A um, button here for scene A. Let's ensure that the slider before you click on A is on the left hand side. It says parameter locks A or parameters lock A. So let's uh, modify, for example, the cutoff. If we go here, we click and move it right to the left. Now we click again on the button. We move these to the right, click on the B. Let's click on the cutoff again and we move it right up to maximum. Let's unclick and that. Let's move back the parameter, uh, so the slider to the left. Let's click play, and as I click play, I will move the slider. And you will hear the cutoff changing. Perfect. If you want to add other um, parameters that you want to change or morph, it's very simple. So let's, for example, click add here. Let's go to processor and let's, uh, for example, add the reverb. Why not? All right. Okay. Let's uh, ensure the slider is on the left. Click on A. Let's go to the mix and move it right down. Let's then click the the scene A, let's move the slider to the right, click on the scene B, let's move the mixture to something like that. Let's then click and try again. And this time you will hear not only the cutoff changes, but also the mixer of the reverb effect changing. Perfect. Now, if you click on the scene you activated it, if you double click, it gives you some option. You can copy and then paste the settings to another scene, or you can clear. In this case, if you clear it, you start, you start again. Um, I hope you found this uh, uh, video useful. And in the next video, I will start to show you how you can use the step components and after you learn how to use the step components you can combine the more feature with the stem components to create some magic so i as always see you next time bye